Hello, Potato! If you're watching this video on the day it comes out, then it's Bull Day! Yes, the big game is today, and if you're watching this on any of the thousands and thousands of days after the day this video comes out, then it's not Bull Day, and the next couple minutes don't really matter. But if you recall last year on Bull Day, I did a Bull Day special comparing the KFC Famous Bowl to the Stouffer's Bowlfuls Chicken and Mashed Potato Bowl, which Frighteningly enough is a thing that apparently still exists, and indeed a line they've created more options on. So with that in mind, this year we're doing Lego. Yeah, I'm not doing a Bowl Day special this year. I don't know that I'm even going to watch the game this year, because you can watch the commercials on YouTube, and frankly, that's what I care about most. So today we are going to build set 75300, the Lego Star Wars Imperial TIE Fighter. And funnily enough, I don't have a proper TIE Fighter, at least not that I can find. I kind of thought I had one of the original ones, like I do the Millennium Falcon and the uh, Y-Wing, but I don't. I have Darth Vader's TIE Fighter Advance, and I have a TIE Bomber, but I do not have an old TIE Fighter. So, we're rectifying that today with this. Uh, this kit is normally $39.99, but I actually bought it last week at Costco for $30. Which is mostly why I bought it, because it was basically 25% less than buying it from Lego directly. Uh, I, I really like that Costco and Lego have come to this, this deal in the last year, where they've been putting some, uh, some sets other than just boxes of bricks into Costco stores. I've, I've bought a number of sets from them. They actually had the, uh, the Grogu set a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't pick it up, and I don't know if I regret that or not. Because I have, I, have, I have too much Grogu stuff already. I really don't need a Lego version of him other than the minifigure ones that have come with the uh, Razor Crest. And I do still want to get the Trouble on Tatooine set, which has another one of the little Grogu in it. But that's for another video. Today, it's the Imperial TIE Fighter. It uh, comes with three minifigures, the TIE Fighter Pilot, a Stormtrooper, and a droid called NIL-8. Nihilate! Get it? Nihilate! Yeah, you get it. So it's only 432 pieces. It should be a fairly straightforward and simple build. There are fiddly bits, but not a humongous ton of them like some kits have. I'm interested to see how this is going to fit together. I'm seeing like a little, the little ball joint pieces there. So I'm interested to see how the, uh, the border on the, the TIE Fighter is going to work. And of course you can play this in the Skywalker Saga video game from LEGO Star Wars. I don't think it's a code, I think this is probably just a thing you can normally play in that game. So let's uh, crack it open and see how many bags are in here. You get a box cutter, we'll open it up. And our bags. Put you back there just for reference. Bag one, bag three. Of course, we folded up our instruction book again. I always love that. So three bags. We put bags two and three off to the side. So this should be a pretty straightforward build. We've got our little little QR code there for the instructions plus thing. Which, yeah, I know I keep saying one of these days I'll do that, and this is not that day. Alright, so here we have, looks like our first part is going to be the central pod of the TIE Fighter. So I guess, let's get everything organized and switch over to the fast forward. I will see you on the other side.
There we go. Now that wasn't so bad, now was it? So there is our finished TIE Fighter. Kind of nice and solidly built. The wings can be popped off for battle damage. So if you want to crash them, you can do that. Which is always nice. Of course, doesn't, this side doesn't want to come on as easily. And now it's going to just not go back together. There we go. And of course, as is standard with all of the more modern Star Wars sets, we do have a little blaster firing action feature. Those do shoot with a fair amount of force. And yeah, we had those on like the Razor Crest and I think the last Star Wars thing we built had those on them as well. And of course, they give you an extra one because, you know, you're going to lose them. So even the, here we have the cockpit with our little pilot. And there's enough space, thanks to this being kind of domed out, that he can actually hold his blaster while in there. And of course, we have Nihil 8 and a Stormtrooper, because let's face it, you really never can have too many Stormtroopers. But it is a cute set. Um, I do kind of like how they've used the joint pieces here, because I was wondering how those were going to work, to create a border along a piece that doesn't go to 90 degrees, which, you know, can be a problem for LEGO kits. But yeah, we solved it rather admirably using the ball sockets there. And with the back of the ship here. Yep. For 30 bucks, uh, not bad for 432 pieces. It's actually, that's a pretty good price, because 40 bucks would be about the uh, price I'd expect for a 400 piece set. That kind of seems to be how they frequently uh, pan out. It's basically about like, what, 10 cents a piece? But it's a cute set. I don't figure out where to put it. I just kind of wish I had one of the old ones to compare it to, like I did uh, with the Ghost Rider set a couple weeks ago. But that is going to wrap us up for this week. It is a nice little set. Um, if you have a Costco near you and you're a member, and this sounds interesting to you, I would encourage you to go pick it up while they have it. The Lego kits seem to sell out fairly quickly there. Like I said, a couple weeks ago they had Grogu, and last week when I went in, they didn't have Grogu anymore. But they had this, and they had a couple other sets in this. Uh, they had a, I think, a creator set and a city set, and they're both kind of nice ones too. Especially the uh, had like the little toy shop set, which I'm uh, a little tempted on, but I probably won't because it doesn't really fit into the modular city anywhere. Plus, I already have my uh, Lego Lego store, so I don't need another toy store, do I? Yep, it's a cute set. It's well built. It's pretty sturdy. I say pretty sturdy, not extremely sturdy. I mean, if you handle it like an idiot, like I just did, it will, of course, fall apart. But it's Lego, so generally it pops right back together, which is why I always loved Lego as a kid. You could, you could break them and put them back together. That's going to wrap it up for this week, or for this video. Uh, there'll be another video later on this week. I hope you found it all interesting or entertaining. Uh, apparently he did not. He has fallen over from boredom. But if you found it interesting, please give the video a like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.